Hi friends, how are you? Hope you're well. Today is International Women's Day, March the 8th, and I thought I would celebrate by just showing you some authors that are on my TBR that, and maybe a couple that are not, but I want to read more by, just to sort of show maybe some other authors that are not mentioned much maybe on YouTube and that maybe you want to go and sort of find out more about. As I say, there are probably others, I'm looking at my, my TBR, but there are others on that pile as well, but they're you know mostly Christmas books. So I've sort of, there's a couple of Christmas books in here, but some are not. But I just wanted to sort of share some authors with you that I'm looking forward to reading and you know maybe are reading more of, and I just hope you enjoy this. So the first one I want to talk to you about is Jennifer Snow. This is um, the first book of a Wild River novel. So this is the first of the Wild River series, set in Alaska, and it's, I really, really enjoyed them. This one is about Erica, who is a, a, an ER doctor, or she works in the hospital, yeah, I think she's an ER doctor, and she never takes a vacation. And she, she helps run the, the hospital as well, but she ends up having to take a vacation um, and she goes to almost like the, she goes to Wild River and I think she has family connections with this, if I remember rightly. I think she was brought up there and things happen when she's there and I really, really enjoyed it. She had to do with one of the men that she meets up is, I think if I'm right, he's part of the search and rescue team. So there, there's that incorporated in it. I really, I remember really, really enjoying it. I've, as I say, I've read the second book in this and I haven't picked up, I haven't got the third or the, the rest of them, but I will be doing so because I really liked the way she wrote and I really liked Alaska as a setting. So I'm looking forward to getting more of these read. I then have Coral Holiday by Jan Moran. I, I won this as a, as a giveaway. I've never read any of Jan Moran. I am looking forward to this. It's a, it's a small book. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is as a book three, so I maybe go back and get books one and two before I read this one. I'm not sure. I will have to. I'll think about that. But I love the cover, um, and I'm looking forward to reading somebody new because I say I haven't read her. If you if you have read any of her books, I would love to know more down in the comments. I then have a behemoth. I was in Waterstones one day and I wanted I wanted to get a fantasy, some fantasy books or something that I thought might like and I was told that this one was really really good and it is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I do not know anything about this book apart from that it's an absolute behemoth but the lady that um that sort of sold it to me said that she read this in three days so a world divided a, a queendom without an heir and an ancient enemy awakens sounds good when i will get to it i'm not sure i think i'm gonna have to be in the, in the mood for an absolute tome but it's sitting there it's looking at me i'm looking at it and i'm sure i'll pick it up soon i then have this bind up which is called A Little Country Christmas. So we have Carolyn Brown, Rochelle Allers, Hope Ramsey, AJ Pine. The only person that I've read from that list is Rochelle Allers and I really, really enjoyed it. And I've heard other people say, I've heard other people mention Carolyn, Carolyn Brown. I haven't heard anybody mention the other three. Um, I've been told that Carolyn Brown is a really good author and I am looking forward to sort of, trying one of her books i'm looking forward to reading another rochelle allers and i'm yeah i you know i having not read the other two i can't really say very much but i it's a christmas book i will get it read um whether it will be kept till christmas or whether i will be in the mood to look to read something christmasy now i don't know but i think they're gonna be very short stories and i'm looking forward to it then I have Jill Shalves' new one, The Family You Make. I am very late to the sh the Jill Shalves reading party. Um, I think I've I only found out about her about a year a year ago, and since then I've been I've read a couple of her books and I've really really enjoyed it. I really like the way she writes, and the way her stories are put together. I am looking forward to this one. Um, 
Oh, so it's during a snowstorm of the century, Levi Cutler is stranded on a ski lift with a beautiful stranger named Jane. That sounds fun. Oh yeah, that is going to be interesting. I love the cover, but as I say, I really like Jill Shalvis' you know, f- family is a lot means a lot to her in her books, and I, you know, hopefully this is going to be the same in this one. I then have Away with the Penguins by Hazel Pryor. I heard about this one from Sarah the Bookish Knitter, and I sounded it intrigued me. Like an eighty-five-year-old who goes off to help, so goes off to Antarctica. I think it is. Um, to deal with to do something with penguins I'm up for that I think this is going to be a really good story I'm looking forward to it Um, I'm going in there that's all I know about the book and that's all I want to know about the book I just want to go in and enjoy it but as I've never read any any Hazel Pryor and it'll be good hopefully, fingers crossed Annie Rains now again I'm very late to the Annie Rains party I've only read two of her books so far. They've both been in this Sweetwater, is it Sweetwater Springs series? And I've enjoyed them so far. I want to read more. Um, again, contemporary small small town America. This one really I really enjoyed because it was it hooked me because the girl had, the main character had to help re, you know rebuild the B and B. And that for me was like, oh yeah, that's me in there. I, that's like one of my hook things is if somebody has to sort of ref, refurb a house or an inn or something like that, yeah, I'm down for it. So I really, really enjoyed this one and I really like Annie Rains's writing and I'm wanting to continue with the series. Another author I've read a few books by, but not very many, is Susan Child. Um, I've read two of her Lakeside Resort series and one of her California Carolina Blue series. Really enjoyed both of them, or all three of them. I want to do more. I like this the Lakeside Resort ones I love because they're like the first book, again, it was refurb cabins at a Lakeside Resort. And it was like, yes, please. And... This one was getting the resort up and running a bit more. I don't know what the third book's about. I will have to get it. But really nice writing. Like the way that she brings her characters through the, the book, etc. So yeah, looking forward to reading more about her. This was one that Mum read and she gave it to me. And it's Kitty Wilson, The, the Cornish Village School, Breaking Rules. I don't know anything about this book. Mum really enjoyed it, said it was a, a really nice book to read and she thought I would enjoy it. Uh, it just says, following heartbreak, Rosie has rebuilt her life in the beautiful Cornish village of Penmenon. Now headmistress of the local school, she is living by the rule, no dating anyone in the village. Easy? Right. But Rosie, Rosie Winter has a new neighbour, handsome gardener Matt. Oh, hello. So, as I say, that's all I know about this book. Is all I want to know about it, book. But if mum enjoyed it, the chances are I'm going to enjoy it as well. I picked this one up. Rose Alexander out of the mountain mountain shadow. I have I saw this at a garden centre, loved the cover. And this is a this is, looks like a dual timeline, 1939 and 2019. So I really don't know much about it. I maybe don't think I want to read in know much about it. I just want to go in blind. I've never read anything by Rose Alexander, so we'll see what it's like. Then we have Rosie Blake, the Hooga Holiday. Now you know me. I love my I love my Hooga. I love anything to do with that concept. I think I've read one Rosie Blake before and really and quite I think I quite enjoyed it, but I cannot remember. It's been so long ago. So I'm looking forward to to this one. Um Everything is going wrong for Yule Thorpe this this autumn. It's called Drizzly in the Skies of Perma The The last business on the high street, an adorable little toy shop, has just shut its doors. 
Then Clara Kirstensen arrives. Ooh. So this could be about saving a town, which I really like that idea as well. So I thought pretty cover. The word hygge just pulled me in immediately. I read a number of Sheila Roberts and really, really enjoyed them. I like her Icicle Falls and I'm also just, I haven't got all of the Icicle Falls books and I need to sort of get more to finish off the series. I'm liking her Moon, Moonlit Harbour. Um, this is like the third book in the series or the fourth and I really like it again. In got to do the end up, got to get the end working. A sucker. Pull me in, draw me in, just give me more. Um, I really like Sheila Roberts' writing. I like the characters. I like the settings, both Moonlit Harbour and Icicle Falls. And I will be devouring this very, very shortly. And the last author I wanted to talk to you about was Debbie Burns. And this is A New Leash on Life. This is a Rescue Me novel. I read, I think, the third one in this series, not realising it was the third one. And this is to do with um, a lady who runs an animal shelter and a no-kill animal shelter. They try and rehome the dogs, etc. And I really loved it. And I am looking forward to getting to the start of this book, or the start of this series, and then reading more of this series from then on. This will only be, I think, my second Debbie Burns, but I have really, really enjoyed the first one. So I, I, I'm assuming I'm going to enjoy the, this first one as well. So those are some of the authors that I would like to, to read more of, I think, off the top of my head, if I think about it. There's V.M. Burns, who write, writes the bookshop mystery books. They're really good. They're cosy mysteries. Really enjoy those. I then have Claire McEwen, who writes Harlequin category romance. Thoroughly enjoyed her first book, uh, the first book of hers that I read. I want to get more. There are more. There are other category romance writers like Julianne Lindsay, um, and people like that that I've that I've maybe just read one book of, but I want to read more. So yes, there are a lot of female authors out there that I want to read, and <clears throat> that's great. I'm I'm really I'm really pleased about that. Please let me know down in the comments have you read any of these authors? Um, do you think I'm going to like them? Are there any female authors that I haven't mentioned that you think, oh yeah, you you should go and try out? Um, I'm always open to suggestions of new authors to try out. Uh, I would, you know, that's is, that's one of the things I love about BookTube is that you get you get recommendations from other readers, which is really really nice. But I hope you've enjoyed this quick wee video for International Women's Day, friends. Until, I, until my next video, stay safe and happy reading. Bye.